What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Chino Bull, and I'm back again with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about the top five teams that could get Kenny Atkinson and who should get Kenny Atkinson as a head coach for their teams and for development purposes and everything. So can everybody please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll be doing it with different coaches, different players, different everything. I'll do free agency, which like who should go to which team. Um, Maybe like who, which teams will be top eight this, well, next year. Um, If I believe that the NBA season will resume this year or not. And when I think they will resume, please watch the full video. Please watch the full video. Please like and subscribe. Please comment down below what videos you guys want next. I'll do anything besides certain things, but I'll do anything. Um, And just please like and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications. Comment down below any new videos. And if you guys want to donate to the channel, you guys could go to my channel. Click on my channel. Then after you have to go to about. And then after you see my PayPal, and thank you guys for everything you guys do. And let's get into today's video. Yes, coming in at number five, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh, the Minnesota Timberwolves. I believe they need the most, one of the most, they need development in that team. I feel like Kenny Atkinson could do an amazing job with that. He helps develop players like what he did with the Brooklyn Nets. And with, I forgot what's the other team, like the Atlanta Hawks, I believe. And he helped them develop into a great team. Um, I believe that Minnesota still needs those like extra pieces to actually like contend in the West. And if Kenny Atkinson could develop um D'Angelo Russell, he could develop Car Anthony Towns more, um Malik Beasley, who else? There's more people to that team that needs to get developed. And I feel like Kenny Atkinson will help develop the team, help the team get more structured culture wise and everything wise. Because Kenny Atkinson's a good head coach and he's just underrated coach. I feel like last year he should have won the coach of the year because the way that he brought the Nets in, like, did you guys see their seed? They were six seed in the East with Kenny Atkinson. No, no stars besides Neangelo Russell. And it's just crazy. Like the development, like the year before that, the year prior, the Nets did not do good. And they were a horrible team before that. Then Neangelo Russell comes back and he's not injured. So the Nets start coming back and they start doing way better. They had, I think their record was a 44 and 42, I believe. And it was just an amazing season, man. And I'm saying that he could help them get great development. Carl Anthony Towns, I feel like he would like do great with him. The answer Russell already knows him. He already knows like the way he plays and everything. And Kenny Atkinson loves to push players to their fullest ability, fullest potential, and he'll push them even more to their potential. So coming in at number four, number four, I picked the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I believe the Cleveland Cavaliers have great young stars but they do not know how to use them. And they need a new head coach because this head coach, this new head coach does not want to be there. I think he wants to part ways or he did part ways. And it's just, they have good young stars. They have Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, Larry Nance Jr. They have good young stars and they could really make it into the East because the East is kind of easy. But what I'm saying is like, if Kenny Atkinson can go to that team and help develop that team, they will be a good team. You put... Darius Garland at point guard, shooting guard, Colin Sexton, um, Oseman, um, at small forward, Larry Nance or Kevin Porter at small forward, um, too, and then Larry Nance at power forward and center Zizek. I don't know. Whatever they can do, Kenny Atkinson's a great development head coach, and he'll take a great, great ownership into that team. He'll build them better, culture wise and everything wise. So what I'm saying is that if Kenny Atkinson joins that team. That would be a great asset. And that team would be great. Like how um, Kenny Atkinson helped other teams, like the Hawks and Nets. Like I said in the last one, he helped Kyrus LeVert become a great player now. Jared Allen, nobody really expected him to be good. D'Angelo Russell, everybody did not like him. And you see the way they are now? Spencer Dibbley, he came all the way down from the G League. Chioza, TLC, all these players, man, they are good. So that's why I picked Cleveland Cavaliers. At number three, I picked the Atlanta Hawks. So I know he left the team because he was an assistant coach, but I believe that the Atlanta Hawks need Kenny Atkinson. They really do. So they really need him because you want to know the real reason why I believe this? Because he could develop Trey Young. He could help develop Clint Capella even more. He could help those two. Um, DeAndre Hunter, 
John Collins. Are you kidding me? Cam Reddish. Like, this team could be great. They just need a little bit more of development. And Kenny Atkinson's a great development head coach. So he could build that team to be a great team. And you know what happens with that team? They could make it into the East as an 8th or 7th seed. Or even more better because they have Trey Young. John Collins averaging 20 points. Trey Young averaging 30 points. Clint Capella averaging 15 points. Plus, like, 13 rebounds. Like, are you kidding me? And then you have... um. Reddish off the bench. You have Hunter. Come, like, this is great. Like, if you ever, ever want a head coach, you should get Kenny Atkinson. Because Kenny Atkinson's a great development head coach. He can help that team get way better. And I feel like he'll make Trey Young, DeAndre Hunter, and all those new players on that team, John Collins, like, help them go all the way up to their fullest level, fullest potential. And that team will be good. So if you really want to put them in a great position, you get Kenny Atkinson right there. You just need to trade a little bit of pieces, um, just a little bit of pieces. And Kenny Atkinson will help that team do good. No matter what, they'll be an A seed in the next three years because Kenny Atkinson is that guy. He is good. So that's why I pick Atlanta Hawks at, at number, number two. Oh, my gosh. I picked the New York Knicks. So I believe the Knicks, they need Kenny Atkinson, all right? They really do because the Knicks, it's just crazy. Like, the Knicks, they really do need him because... R.J. Barrett, um, Mitchell Robinson, they have some good young stars. Peyton, Frank Nilekina could step up because of Kenny Atkinson because he can help him overall development. So what I'm saying is that these teams that are doing bad, they need development in it because they're all young teams and they're tanking on purpose. But what they what they need is Kenny Atkinson to help develop that team to do way better. Since they have the picks and everything to do it, they could trade for better assets or they could just keep on rebuilding like that. And they could do way better with the draft. So what I'm saying is that these these players on these teams, they, they could get developed way better with Kenny Atkinson. And he's a great head coach. He's a great man. Like, he helps the culture and everything. He builds a way better relationship with the team, teaches the team how to be good. He taught Dean Russell how to be a great, like, player, and he was an all-star that year. And as you can see, Karis LeVert came up too, Jared Allen, all those people, and he can help that team get better. R.J. Barrett could be way better. Mitchell Robinson could be one of the best shot blockers in the league, which he is. And I'm just saying, like, Dennis Smith Jr., he could be one. He is one of the best dunkers in the league. He reminds me of Russell Westbrook a little bit. Um, and I feel like this would be great because Kenny Atkinson knows how to develop the team. Since they're going through head coach issues, they should they should get Kenny Atkinson. He'll fix that whole thing up, fix the whole team up. So what I'm saying is that you guys got to pick, the Knicks got to pick Kenny Atkinson as their future head coach so they could get way better development and they could be one of the best teams in the league. They could do like what the Brooklyn Nets did. They developed for years and they did not have draft picks. But what they did is that they kept on trading for draft picks. And now look at them. Now they got KD and Kyrie. So this is a great thing. Please get Kenny Atkinson. This is why I put the Knicks at number two. Let's get into number okay, one. Okay, guys. I know you guys have been waiting for number one. And I picked number one, my New Orleans Pelicans. I picked the New Orleans Pelicans because, man, this team's amazing, man. So I feel like Kenny Atkinson, bro. Get Alvin Gentry out of here. I do not like Alvin Gentry that much. Just get him out. What I want Kenny Atkinson to do is develop Zion Williamson into the next LeBron James or even better. Please, Lord. And Lonzo Ball, next Steve Nash. Get him up there. He developed the jump shot. He developed the three. He developed even more better passing. And you know what? This team will be great. Develop Josh Hart. J.J. Reddick could be one of the best players on that team. He could help them mentor the other players on the team. And what I believe is that Jackson Hayes will be a great blocker, which he is right now. And Kenny Atkinson can help him develop into an even better one next Rudy Gobert, I believe. And that team will be great. The um, Derek Favors, too, off the bench or starting, whatever. Jaleel Okafor, you could develop him, too. And he's a great center, but he does not get any minutes. So I feel like Kenny Atkinson will be a great head coach. is great because Lonzo Ball at point guard, shooting guard on um, J.J. Redick, small forward. You could put, let me see, who could be a small forward? Just put anybody at small forward. Um, Josh Hart. Oh, and I forgot about someone. Drew Holiday. He could develop him into an even better player. You see this? So you, do you really see this team? Drew Holiday could help others around him too. He was an all-star in his first to second year. Are you kidding me? So the starting lineup would be Lonzo Ball, J. 
JJ Reddick, Drew Holiday, Zion Williamson, or Derek Favors or Jackson Hayes. That's a great lineup. They can make the 8th to 7th seed. And I believe if Kenny Atkinson is on that team, he will help that team get way better. Lonzo Ball, he'll, he'll be way better. He already developed a shot mid-range. He can shoot now. He can do everything on the court. He's a mini Ben Simmons, in my opinion. Now, he can maybe be better. But I feel like Lonzo Ball got way better over time. He's averaging 10 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. And Zion Williamson, great. One of, great, one of the greatest um, Lob City finishers. Like, he's one of the best. Um, Jackson Hayes, one of the best shot blockers in the league. So I feel like this team would go great with Kenny Atkinson. The development would be great. And just get out Alvin Gentry. I do not like him that much, man. Like, please. I just want the Pelicans to do great. And be successful. They could just trade for more pieces. David Griffin's a great GM. And I know damn well he's going to do great decisions for that team. Like he has been. And I feel like this team will be great. So this is why I picked Kenny Atkinson to um his number one for New Orleans Pelicans. This is why I picked him for number one for New Thank Orleans Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button for more videos like this. And I hope you guys watched the full video. Um, and if you guys want to donate to the channel, like I said in the beginning, you guys could go to click on my channel and then after you click on about, and then you see my PayPal and just thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, and subscribe. Want to get big. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I will be doing a Fortnite giveaway, Fortnite skin or whatever you guys want. Um, thank you guys for watching today's video. Please like, and subscribe, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, comment down below any new videos and we out. Peace.